In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to enable JIT on your iOS devices, all without a computer or a jailbreak or even internet. So if you're having issues enabling JIT, with this method, you can enable JIT all with a single click of a button. It supports iOS 17.4 all the way to the latest iOS version. So to get this started, what you guys need to do is go and install Side Store, which I'll leave a video for in the top right on how to fully install it and the entire guide. Or you guys can even follow the instructions on the website. It's very simple. Anyways, since I already have Side Store, we can go on to the main part, which is StickJIT, the app that we're going to use to enable JIT. So what we have to do is essentially download StickJIT, which to download, what you guys have to do is go into the App Store. And in the App Store, you're just going to search up Stick Debug. So you have to click Get Here. And now that it has been installed, just click on Open. And then it'll ask for VPN configurations. You can just click Allow. And just put in your password. And now the app has finally installed. Now to show you guys how to use it, I will use an app that requires JIT, like the Play app, which I already sideloaded before this, which lets you play PS2 games on your iPhone. If you guys want to see the video on how to get that app, then I'll leave the video in the top right and in the description as well. Anyways, if I open up Play and then I click on any game, It'll say JIT is unavailable. JIT does not seem to be available at the moment. So if you just click on continue over here, you'll see that it'll either kick you out of the game or it'll crash. So to fix this problem, we need to enable JIT. And to enable JIT, the first thing we need to do is make sure that Stowe's VPN is in fact turned on, which it should be by default if you guys do want to sideload any apps. But since I didn't sideload any apps, it's not on. So I'm just going to turn it on here. Now, what we need to do is go into settings and you're going to go into general where in general you go to background app refresh and make sure that this is in fact turned off. Now we can open up stick JIT or right. The app itself is called stick debug, but either way you can click on the app here. And what we need to do now is just input the peering file in. So you're just going to click on select peering file and then locate the peering file. And if you guys are wondering what the peering file is, the peering file is just the same peering file that you used for side store. Make sure that it is the exact same. Otherwise, it will not work. So you're just going to click on this here. And so it may also be a bit buggy. Like for me, my stick jit actually ended up freezing. So I just had to close out of the app and reopen it. So if it does freeze, then I would recommend doing that. But anyways, now that your pairing file has been imported, it should say below that your pairing file has successfully been imported. And now we just need to click on connect here. And then you'll see a list of your installed apps. And what we have to do here is just put in the target app that we want to enable JIT for, which is play for me. So when I click on play, it'll open up the play app. And now when I tap on the game, it'll still give me the message box saying it's not enabled. But if you guys just click on continue, you can see that the game has successfully loaded, meaning JIT is in fact enabled. Also, if you guys want to use StickJet without Wi-Fi, all you really have to do is make sure that Stowe's VPN is on, which you're going to have to turn on here. And then whether you lose internet connection or turn airplane mode on, you'll still be able to use StickJet to enable JIT on any app of your choosing. Also, if you guys get a pop-up saying that the device is not mounted, what you guys have to do is just close StickJet and reopen it again. And then you're just going to click on your whatever app that you wanted to use and JIT should in fact work. Anyways, I hope this video helped. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.